set to go, 1,700 metres, and fired away to a good enough beginning for them. Beginning while Arctic Vixen with those blinkers on. Springer is right up there in the early part of the race, and Sensual Kiss races back in third. Towards the inside is Exquisite Dawn, who races behind those. Further back to the outside is Slan Javar with Angel of My Heart tucked in on the rail, racing six, seven lengths off the leader. Further back to perform, Blue Quartz and Bacardi Babe is the trailer. Racing down the side of the course with just over 1,200 metres to go, Arctic Vixen's the leader from an errant on the outside grey horse, Slan Javar, who is a bit green in the run. Springer gets a nice toe through into the home straight, racing in third, got two and a half to three lengths to make up. Exquisite Dawn races behind that, with on the outside, Sensual Kiss. Angel of My Heart, the headband, is six, seven lengths off the leader with Perform, and then came Blue Quartz racing at the back with Bacardi Babe. Homeward bound now down the long Val straight and raced up past the 800 metre marker and in front is Arctic Vixen by a couple. Springer waiting in her slipstream in second. Then Slange of our Angel of My Heart towards the inside, further back to Sensual Kiss and then came Exquisite Dawn Perform and Blue Quartz. Down now into the last 500, it's still Arctic Vixen the leader but just over a length. Springer's been called upon for an effort now. Then came Slange of our Perform makes up ground down the centre and Bacardi Babe is in behind those. 300 to go. Arctic Vixen will be taken on by Springer, but there's still half a length in it. Arctic Vixen still has the call here. Springer now moves up right up alongside with Perform running on on the outside, but Springer's picked up the lead from Arctic Vixen, who fights back along the rail. Arctic Vixen, Springer on the outside is Perform finishing quickly. Springer is going to give Gavin Lorena his 100th win of the season. Springer beat Perform, Arctic Vixen, Angel of my heart and Blue Quartz. Well, Arctic Vixen was tenacious, you have to give her that uh, for the Habib stable. She didn't want to give up the lead, even though Springer moved up alongside. She tried to fight back before, made up ground on the outside. It's a race in two um, anyway, which either way you look at it, between Arctic Vixen and Springer, and then between Springer and Perform late. But Gavin Lorena has brought the most out of the daughter of Vercingetrix. Springer wins her maiden in her seventh start. She, was out, she is out of the Jet Master Mare Butterfly Girl. She's trained by Roy Magna, and she was bred by the Hirmel and Arda Stud. And it's going to go the way of number one, Springer. And Gavin Lorena raises his bat. Well, welcome back. It is uh, the running of race four, and the favourite has just hung on for that uh, victory in the first leg of what could be a very interesting pick six going forward. Hopefully, you did take that chance and bank her. Well done uh, to you. Fortune does a fa fa favour the brave. But the man who looks after Springer is looked after Springer in all its uh, seven outings in, is, uh, by the way, Gianni. Well done to you, Spabada. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Uh, that is your uh, World Sports uh, Betting uh, sponsored uh, winning groom, a check of uh, 1,500 metres. Do enjoy it, and uh, hopefully there's more wins to come from Springer. Well done. Yeah, well done. Naming a Kubonga mina, in fact. <laughs> All right, let's talk uh, to the man of uh, the moment. Now, Casey, if you would just be so good to bring me that little uh, box there, that little coffin... Thank you so much. You thought it was my uh, somebody's ashes, didn't you? All right. Congratulations, my man. Of course, you've got Springer out of the maidens. You know Springer quite well. Today, it looked all right on paper, and it looked cruising, and then somehow things uh, got a bit uh, tetchy. Yeah, look, sis, uh, on paper, she looked like the filly to beat. Um, she shows absolutely nothing at home. And I was very worried today. Uh, she didn't want to go down to the start. She stuck up. Um, she was making U-turns. She didn't want to go near the pins. So I was quite, I was quite worried about her today. Um, but she's managed to put it together. And, uh, you know, she, when I asked her for effort that lasts for long, she, she gave it to me today. Definitely one of that after this a confidence booster may uh, come back with one or two more for their connections, Mr. Moore and, of course, uh, Mr. Max. Yeah, look, I think she's still like quite a... Uh, immature filly, she's still strengthening quite a bit. And I think off her rating, you know, over probably a mile, 18, 2,000, um, I think she'll still be competitive. Right. Uh, Casey, please would you do the honours, because I think you'd rather receive it from somebody a little better looking than me. This is to celebrate Gavin's 100th winner of the year season. <laughs> this is a courtesy of a full racing, Gavin, and uh, we certainly will be counting down at the next 100, hopefully, but it will be a task uh, next four, uh, 16 weeks, I think. Yeah, thanks so much, sis. Um, 
Big thank you to Four Racing. You actually stuck forwards there. Yeah, I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> well, done, well done to Four Racing. Uh, thank you for, for this. It's it's wonderful. I, I wish I knew it was 100. I would have raised my bet. <laughs> but uh, yeah, great to get it. Thank you to all the owners and trainers that have supported me through the season. I've had a fantastic season. Um, big thanks to everyone for their support. Uh, to Mr. Magnan, Casey, well done. Uh, to Mr. Moore and to Adrian, fantastic to ride them another win. And to Vogelbos, Drift, to Marisfontein, thank you. Just the last question, what can bring you back here for number 101, possibly 102 before the day is over? You are, Cis, look, I think um, a thing called love, it's her first run out the maiden, looks like quite a competitive field. If I can run a place here, I think I'll be extremely happy. Um, you team up with Candice quite a bit. Yes, I've got juries out. I think he'll enjoy the straight. He didn't enjoy the inside track last time. I think he's going to enjoy this galloping, you know, galloping straight. Um, you know, I put him in all your exotics and uh, uh, got great barrier for Candice. Nice filly, I've told you, like she's got me bamboozled on the distance, but she's a big, beautiful, strapping filly. Uh, she's won now, so hopefully she's learned to win and she can produce it again. And then I got Longsword at the back for Mr. Terry. Nice big horse. He won over the course and distance. He may be looking for a little further, but he, he did win over the course and distance. We all thanks for you. We always uh, celebrate your uh, joys and ups, <laughs> and uh, we're always with you in your downs as well. But enjoy this yes. one. Thank you very much. I thank appreciate you so it. Much, thank, thank you so, so much. Casey, sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, thank you for joining us. And uh, second time in uh, two meetings we talk, and we really have to make this a regular uh, occurrence. Oh, please, <laughs> can that be the case? But, you know, well done to Mr. Moore and to Adrian. Adrian's so influential in the yard. And, yeah, it's just a big well done to them and to Mr. Mags. And thank you so much to Gavin, because I don't think she was the easiest of fillies today, but he kept us cool and delivered the goods. But at work, at home, you see a lot of potential going forward, obviously. She shows nothing at home. She's a very bad worker. Um, but, you know, her form's good, and she's always brought it to the race course. So I guess better that than shows a lot at home and doesn't bring it to the course. Quite the case. Um... I don't think you've got any more runners for the afternoon. No, you had the babies. Uh, please tell us more. I'm just trying to do uh, race six, we've got Lady Elliot. Uh, and I do like that, actually. Yeah, no, she hasn't been too far off of recent. Uh, Muzi gets back on her and he gets along well with her. So a nice place chance. Indeed. We wish you well. And, of course, uh, to Adrian and uh, Peter Moore, I think his uh, first name is Mr. Moore, but big owners. Uh, to them, this is uh, their uh, Racing Owners Association bonus uh, for uh, full membership to the ROA. Thank you so much, Casey. Thank you so much, Cecil. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Joma. It is uh, race uh, number four, one, six, two, and a four. That'll be the order finished. And uh, half a million rand is your net pool in the pick six.